Benchmark, the voice of business. Presented by LMD. On this week's edition of Benchmark, in our first installment, we take a look at public opinion about the political culture in Sri Lanka. Then in our feature segment, we turn the spotlight on Anna Punchiheva, former chairman of Sri Lanka Cricket, for his views on the state of the game. And we wrap up this edition by talking to Kunal Sharma, country manager of TNS Sri Lanka, about why Sri Lankans find the current political culture unacceptable. That's the lineup for Benchmark this week. Hello and welcome to Benchmark. I'm Savitri Rodrigo. If there's one thing that almost everyone has an opinion about, it is the political culture in our country. And no matter what political party they belong to, Sri Lankans have much to say about what they want from their elected representatives in Parliament. So in its monthly LMD commissioned nationwide survey, TNS Sri Lanka quizzed the man on the street about the state of politics in Sri Lanka. Not surprisingly, perhaps, some very strong opinions were voiced by many citizens out there. To 65% of the sample population, the current political culture is simply unacceptable. They bemoan the lack of specific policies and they feel that power is, quote, concentrated around one family, unquote. Some say that there is no exemplary political system in our land. And most damning of all, they are adamant that the political system is corrupt. The exclusive nationwide survey also reveals that most Sri Lankans don't believe that the majority of our politicians are actually worthy of respect. 79% of poll participants view the majority of politicians as being, quote, involved in corrupt activities, unquote. And they complain that suitable people have not been appointed to suitable positions. Some food for thought, indeed. By and large, it would seem that those who have been elected to parliament as representatives of their electorates are not being seen as working in the interest of the nation or its people. Some six in ten people who took part in TNS Sri Lanka's survey believe that the majority of parliamentarians are trying to meet personal needs and working for their own benefit. They also charge that politicians often play favourites by looking into the needs of the people who help them. The lack of rural developments such as irrigation facilities for farmers, roads, electricity, housing and employment, they say, is living proof of this trend. Survey respondents had many suggestions as to how we can improve the political culture in this country. At the top of the list, inevitably perhaps, given the current climate, poll participants call for the enforcement of the law fairly, irrespective of political power or status. They also feel that unlimited power in the hands of politicians is not a good thing and must be checked. Some call for a system where only educated and cultured people would be eligible to run for parliament, while there are those who say that disciplinary action must be taken against unethical behaviour by MPs in the legislature. Survey respondents also point out that it is important to accept that a political party is a collective representation of policies and not a birthright that is passed on from generation to generation. And they feel that the public should be encouraged to perceive politicians as their representatives. They should not be looked upon or treated as royalty. The people at large also want politicians to be held accountable for their actions. They say that a good start would be to enforce punishments for speeding bribery, rape and abuse, and thuggery. Likewise, limiting allowances and vehicle permits so that they are not misused were also recommended by respondents to TNS Sri Lanka's survey. And last but not least, respondents feel that politicians must take responsibility for the actions of their henchmen. So that's how the citizens of this country view the prevailing political climate. Later on in the program, we go face to face with TNS Sri Lanka's country manager Kunal Sharma for his assessment of this latest survey. We go in for a commercial break now. When we come back, we speak to Anna Punchiheva, former chairman of Sri Lanka Cricket, for his take on what's happening in cricketing circles these days. Don't miss it.